You're dumb to even insinuate she even touched her face with plastic surgery. This delusion it needs to stop. Oh. Hi, you. welcome. My name is Angelina and today we're going to be talking about K-pop idols getting plastic surgery. And this was inspired by Lori Hill video that sparked quite a controversy amongst the K-pop community where she alleges all the procedures that she thinks Blackpink's Lisa may have gotten done. Even going as far as giving a total cost estimate at the end of the video, which my below wage minimum ass could never. <laughs> and we will discuss that video a little bit because a lot of you guys wanted my thoughts about that. But I'm also going to give a brief history on idols admitting to plastic surgery and roast some opinions at the end as well. So if you like this kind of video, please make sure you watch until the end because you guys let the last video flop but I'm still not over it. While you're at it, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends you don't have because my channel is inevitably going to die. But I want to keep it alive just until 21 make a comeback. And you can also follow me on Instagram because I'm kind of done the rainbow but I think we're going to end it with some pink. Okay, so plastic surgery is still pretty taboo. And no matter how popular it is, people still want to have you believe that their looks, that their aesthetic is completely natural. People will have you believe that it's puberty or whatever the case may be. They want you to believe that they just look that way naturally despite looking nothing like their past selves. For a non-K-pop example, we have Kylie Jenner. You know, when she got her lips done, she was telling people that she just uses a bunch of different types of lip liner. And of course, some people are going to believe that, but other people knew right away that your lips cannot simply just grow that much. So she later admitted to getting lip fillers. But it's interesting that people will make such drastic changes to their faces and just be like, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 I just grew into this or it's just makeup, it's just contour. It's completely natural as if altering their faces is something to be super shameful about. And we will get into that later. But my point is there are just some instances where it is just too painfully obvious, especially when you have pre-debut pictures to base yourself off of. And within K-pop, it's unsurprisingly, of course, a taboo. It's no surprise that most idols don't come forward with the work that they've had done. You know, we definitely see idols who are like, I got my eyes done, I got my nose done. Off the top of my head, way back in the day, I remember Kwangi from Zia came forward and said he got a bunch of work done, and you could see the before and after picture. And it was like a really big deal at the time that he was coming forward and saying all of this stuff so openly. Especially because he was saying his company didn't allow plastic surgeries. And I feel like a lot of companies have this type of rule. We don't allow plastic surgery, but then you see before and after pictures of idols and you're like, um, are you sure about that? Like, I don't know. And my theory is that companies want to sell the idea of perfection. The more naturally beautiful you are, people will of course idolize you more because if you have to attain certain features through surgery, then it's seen as less than. It's not seen as well. And it's really interesting actually because we tend to put people down who consider or who have done plastic surgery for a wide variety of reasons. Either because we see how far it can be taken, how the results can sometimes be way too exaggerated, or simply because we tend to hold natural beauty on such a high pedestal. So if everyone is just so painfully aware of all the work that their idols have done, it kind of takes away from this idea that they're trying to sell. And it's the idea of perfection that doesn't actually exist. But it doesn't mean you can't try to profit off of it. But again, throughout, you know, K-pop history, we've had idols who have admitted to getting their eyes done or getting their noses done. But I think Lori's video in particular really exposed the amount of surgeries an idol can actually get without altering their face to an extent where it's unrecognizable. You know, she mentioned surgeries that I didn't know existed, that I didn't think were pertinent enough to get. You know, surgeries that offered such a minimal amount of change to the face that almost seem unnecessary. And she goes on to explain that through her research, that's basically what K-pop surgeries tend to be about, about changing very, very minor things. So that the change is just so ever so slightly beyond our ability to really notice that on a general basis. So of course it's not something you would notice if you don't even know that these procedures exist. And the truth is, most idols do get work done, as most Western celebrities as well. But given the stigma around surgery that we mostly maintain, it makes sense that people would want to protect Lisa from being associated with it because they themselves have the point of view that it's bad and that natural is better. I even read a comment saying, how could you accuse Lisa, someone so pure and so nice, of getting plastic surgery? 
as if you'd have to be a terrible person to get work done. So it's no secret that it's a taboo and that it's stigmatized and fans' backlash to this video goes hand in hand with that. We have a specific image of our idols and Lisa falls into that image and suddenly this image has been slightly altered or the way we view her has slightly changed because of our own personal stigmas against plastic surgery. And it shatters this idea of perfection that companies try so, so hard to maintain. But I digress. Jessie is probably one of the most famous examples of an idol who just comes out and says the procedures that she's gotten done and does so without any shame. And she actually went viral for talking about her surgeries, which included her breast augmentation. So in this video, she basically starts off by saying she would rather people say things to her face, then gives the example that people say that she has fake boobs. She then responds with, okay, so what if they're fake? I paid for them myself. And then goes on to say basically, Basically, that people should know this and that I don't like hiding and pretending like I haven't done it. Now, of course, not every single idol is going to come out and explicitly say that they've gotten those parts of their bodies done. But I think there's many good reasons behind why she would say something like this. And it doesn't just apply to her. It applies to basically everything we see in the media. If you grow up idolizing certain people, idolizing their features, idolizing certain body types, and you want yourself to achieve those features, it can be quite toxic, especially if those features are absolutely unattainable through natural ways. To achieve those same results, you would have to go through a surgery that could potentially be traumatic, invasive, and pretty much not accessible to the vast majority of people. But these same people will still try to sell you things in regards to their bodies and their looks and make you think that through those products, you can achieve what they have. For example, a celebrity has a perfect hourglass figure that is quite obviously done through surgery, but then try to sell you laxative teas to make you think that you can achieve these results by buying laxative tea. <laughs> it's absolutely harmful. If you look a certain way and you're making everyone believe that you achieve this through hard work and hard work alone, when reality it is your ability, your luck, your access to wealth and money that got you there, that's problematic, obviously. So as a consumer, you might be trying so hard to achieve these results that in reality, are just never gonna happen. And I think examples like this are where the importance of knowing about plastic surgery and disclosing plastic surgery plays an important part. But of course, not everyone is going to be comfortable disclosing what they have had done because there is a stigma, I totally get it. And not all surgeries are used in a malicious way to help sell something either. But I do think it's okay to take steps towards normalizing this a little bit more. No matter how uncomfortable it makes people because it actually reflects reality. Which brings us to Lori's video. So right off the bat, I know a lot of people didn't even watch the video. They just read whatever they read on Twitter and went and reported the video and disliked the video. And I need to say this, get this off my chest. You can feel however you want about certain YouTubers. You can feel however you want about plastic surgery, about her exposing plastic surgery. I understand a lot of the sentiments behind these feelings but unless her video explicitly goes against YouTube guidelines when you are encouraging your followers to falsely report a video just because you don't agree with what the person is saying you're not helping anything in fact you're causing more harm than anything else you are not helping Lisa you are not protecting Lisa and by doing this by massively falsely reporting someone's video you're literally just setting Lori up to receive so much hate the video is not gonna be taken down I watched the whole thing there's nothing that goes against any guidelines Guidelines. I've been through it too. I've had people, you know, encourage their followers to massively report my videos as well. And the only thing that those tweets got me were a lot of hate and a very shit mental health. And I don't think you guys realize how traumatic online hate can be. And I can only imagine the DMs she's probably getting and the hate comments she's probably getting. And it's disgusting and it's immature. If you don't agree with someone, then you don't agree with someone. But to go through all that effort to falsely report a video that you know is not gonna get taken down. In my eyes, the video kind of aimed at normalizing this stuff. And I know a lot of people have different opinions about that and that's really valid. 
but you're allowed to not appreciate the video you're allowed to bring up valid arguments as to why you don't appreciate the video but this delulu shit needs to stop i should know i'm a very experienced delulu back in 2009 even up till now all people would talk about is bomb's face she got plastic surgery she got too much plastic surgery always talking about her face even always talking about her weight and i was just mad convinced that idols were naturally looking the way that they did again queen delulu i'd be like you're just jealous because she's prettier than you you're just jealous because she's more successful than you you're dumb to even insinuate she even touched her face with plastic surgery overall i was just pretty naive when it came to my own idols like maybe <laughs> maybe their nose looks different because they went through a second puberty like you don't know their lives why don't you let them breathe so don't get me wrong i know what it's like to want to protect your idol i know what it's like to <laughs> to want to not believe what is very clearly put out in front of you in a very cohesive way but yet you still don't want to believe it. Even now, I participate in some Dululu type shit. Little anecdote, I watch a lot of 80s performances, <laughs> and I like to think I have a really good grasp on how much backup vocals each member chooses for live stages. <laughs> And the other day I was watching a performance and suddenly Songwa's backup vocals were slightly louder than usual and I thought to myself, is he okay? <laughs> is he depressed? What is going on? Why did he suddenly change his backup vocals? And I had to stop myself and be like, what the fuck was that thought? There is no way that I can tell my idol's mental health, my idol's mental state by the amount of backup vocals because first of all it was probably just because it was a different music show <laughs> but it just goes to show i too can be um delusional so yeah i get it but it's never too late to call yourself out <laughs> and to try and change your behavior so yes to conclude this video i wanted to look at some opinions from reddit and offer a little bit more insight on my opinions on certain aspects of this whole plastic surgery issue so the first one is titled there is nothing wrong with expressing concern over an idol getting excessive botox fillers plastic surgery people say it's none of our business but getting excessive procedures has been correlated with mental health issues in many research studies and i believe that the mental health of idols is our business as people with like irrelevant degrees in a field that could potentially be of any use to someone with mental health issues I would question that heavily if an idol is getting too many procedures done I personally don't see an issue with commenting on their social media post something like you are naturally beautiful and do not need any work done I feel that if we can remind the idol of their natural beauty using kind words it's not a bad thing and can encourage them to stay away from more procedures what I don't agree with is when an idol gets botched, irreversible procedure and people tell the idol that they looked better before. This has no benefit and will just cause the idol more pain. So I disagree with this because, <laughs> I don't know, it comes across as a little gatekeepy to me to be like, you don't need any work done, you probably shouldn't because you look fine now. The thing is, if someone is getting like way too much plastic surgery, I would probably attribute that as growing up in a society that has an overfixation on physical appearance. So how do you expect to kind of cure that by putting more of an emphasis on physical appearance? By saying, no, you look beautiful as you are. You're putting an emphasis on something that I just feel we should put less emphasis on. <laughs> and if someone is getting too much plastic surgery, I just feel like they know <laughs> i feel like people know what they look like and by pointing it out i it's not helpful as a fat person <laughs> people tell me all the time like you know you're fat right and it's like oh shit <laughs> i thank you for letting me know this detail that i had i i was completely unaware of how revolutionary i just think people know already what they look like and they don't need to be reminded of that for example, Jessie once again in the same clip expressed that she's only human and she sees what everyone says about her body anyways. I just maintain that in this day and age, it's basically impossible to be unaware of flaws because if you didn't notice them off the bat, someone else would have surely pointed them out for you time and time again regardless. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how much you tell someone they are beautiful, that can still have a negative effect. And even at that, the negative comments always always outweigh the good ones people say like i'm one of the few k-pop channels <laughs> that shows my face and honestly if i could go back i fucking wouldn't before you know my rise to fame i never really wore makeup and i never really considered surgery but now i cake that shit on and i think about it quite often i just think people are trying their best 
to exist in a world that is so beauty centric and i feel they do what they feel they need to do and i don't think it's our place to kind of tell them that they can't feel that way when we have never been in their shoes before it's easy to comment on someone's appearance and kind of think you know what's best for them when you don't get yourself commented on your body every day commented on your looks every day it eats at you so that's my opinion on that what also concerns me about idols getting a lot of procedures done is that I feel a lot of them are pressured by their company or perhaps do not get enough mental health support from their companies. So it's valid for fans to express worry if their idol is resorting to too many procedures. Again, I don't think it's helpful. I understand where this is coming from, like where this is going. I think sending your idols love is amazing. Send your idols love. Tell them that they're amazing people, that they make your day, that you love their music, that you love their personalities. But again, this fixation on what people look like to me is unhelpful and i tried to make that a huge part of this channel where i don't comment on looks where i don't say like oh this idol is such a visual or i don't say this idol is so good looking or comment on their body i try to comment on hair clothing stage presence live vocals please let me know what you would do if you felt an idol was getting too many procedures would you stay quiet or would you show concern so definitely let me know what you guys would do would you say something or would you stay quiet Again, for me, I would stay quiet, and I actually talk a little bit about this in my video, K-pop and body shaming. I talk about body neutrality and all of that stuff. It's a little bit outdated, I think, so if you want me to make an updated version, let me know as well. So the second opinion is titled the following. People make way too big a deal of idols getting plastic surgery. I don't know if it's just me, but I notice so many people hold idols to this bizarre standard when it comes to plastic surgery. Yes, the vast majority of idols have had some form of plastic surgery. Is this shocking? No. It's the entertainment industry where looks play a huge part. Plastic surgery is standard in any entertainment industry regardless of if it's in the West or in Korea. Literally every single American celebrity has had some form of plastic surgery too, so I don't understand why people make such a big deal when idols have plastic surgery. Idols are held to the standard where they have to look flawless, but if they have had any plastic surgery, they are considered fake. That's such a true double standard. And again, we do put so much emphasis, especially in fourth gen, about visuals. <laughs> I see so many toxic comments about how fourth gen is really the generation of visuals in k-pop second gen idols were so ugly and it's like who the fuck do you think you are you want absolute perfection and absolute beauty and you trash anyone who doesn't fit into that but then you still trash the people who actually have done something to fit into that meanwhile i've seen so many western celebrities get praised for their natural beauty meanwhile a simple google search reveals that they have also had extensive work done it just seems so weird to me how shocked everyone is when they find out that an idol had plastic surgery like i hate to break it to you but literally every celebrity has had some form of plastic surgery if you think your fave western celebrity Celebrity hasn't at least had a little plastic surgery to you're kidding yourself everything is fake nothing is real we need to start thinking more critically about these things which is difficult because on one hand yes it's good to disclose these things so you don't set unrealistic standards but then when you do disclose these things you might be inherently promoting this stuff and then it gets back to the question of is it good is it bad are we neutral about this stuff so i would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below do you think plastic surgery is inherently good inherently bad do you think the promotion or the disclosure of plastic surgery leads to people feeling insecure or leads to people wanting to do it more as for me that is basically it for this video thank you so much for making it this far my watch time thanks you <laughs> the last video was in the gray don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. What? You can also follow me on Instagram and join my channel members, which is basically a monthly subscription that gets you little sneak peeks, depending on the level. And you can also get Kevin's cool emoji next to your name. So if you're interested in that, just click the join button next to the subscribe button. These are the lovely individuals who help support my channel on a monthly basis. Thank you so much for your support. As for me, I'm going to get going, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I have a confession. <laughs> My face is fake. I tend to see comments of people saying, your skin is so flawless. Drop the skincare routine. Um... <laughs> my skincare routine is that I have a skin softening filter on this camera and then I'm wearing like a lot a lot of makeup I'm wearing fucking dermablend okay and then when I export this video to YouTube the quality even goes down a little bit more which adds to that softening filter 
I also have a playlist on Spotify called Post Apocalyptic. It has 142 likes and I'm telling you, uh, I'm always telling you guys to let me know if you find any new songs that you like, if you vibe with any new songs and to tell me. <laughs> and no one ever does.